The city a year ago was full of uh, promise and uh, booming and momentum. Like we really, I really felt that was my the third year of my of my uh, of my mandate here, and I, I felt things uh, picking up um, always. Today, it's still full of life, but it's a subdued life. Um, winter has been incredibly difficult. Today, literally, people you talk to people and everyone's very happy that the streets are lit, finally. Mm -hmm. First time in months you can walk around at night and, and be okay. Yet facing this daily risk of incoming missiles, rockets, drones. The more you feel you can control, the more you can deal with the siren when it goes off. But your start heart still you know, skips a little beat and you think through things and you hope that your defenses will work and you hope that you'll get the information you need to keep yourself safe. You talk to a lot of Ukrainians in their language. Mm -hmm. What are they telling you about the situation now? They say thank you for being here. Yes, they say thank you for the weapons and thank you for the money, but they they thank you for being here and not leaving us alone. I hear that from everybody and it gives me goosebumps every time. What's their level of determination to win? The more they sacrifice, the more they see what Russia has it in for Ukraine, how Russia has it in for Ukraine, the more they are determined to see this to the finish. Um, Ukrainians are not going to go to the negotiating table. Um, they want to win this militarily because that is in their hands and, uh, and that can get them the result that they want.